Do you like pies? I love pies. My mom does a really good strawberry pie and a chocolate pie. And I once was kidding around saying, hey mom, instead of just making a chocolate pie and a strawberry pie, why don't you just kind of mix all that up together? Maybe part of it be chocolate, part of it strawberry. And she's like, well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's kind of the way with money, folks. There is a one size fits all mentality out there that when you're in a 401k, that people think you gotta be in the stock market, that you need all chocolate pie, that you can't divide it up and this is totally ludicrous. So what I'm gonna do is share with you what would happen if we divided up the pie differently. Remember, we just got through talking about our split IRA concept so we can diversify things, so you can have your pie and eat it too, so to speak, versus what I just ran into the other day with a gentleman that had 100% of his money, still does, in his 401k in the stock market. So we're gonna imagine 300,000 is with the investor and 300,000 is with our split IRA concept. So this person, has 100% of their money in the stock market. And we're going to imagine, just for the heck of it, we're just postulating here. Remember back in 08, the market went down, depending on where you had it, anywhere from 37 to 50%. So let's just say we're in a downward spiral here. And over the last year, the stock market has gone down, let's say 30%, depending on where they had it. So 300,000 at 30%, that means this person's account on paper, remember it's not real, this is not real money, it's funny money. Real money doesn't become real money until it's converted to cash in use. So on paper, a year ago, this person had 300,000 and now after a $90,000 loss, they have $210,000 and they asked me, Tony, what should I do? Well, as a fiduciary, it's hard for me to say, well, why don't you get out now? I mean, that's a $90,000 loss. And this literally did happen the other day. I said, I think you're going to have to stay and hope this thing comes back. That's too much of a loss to move. But irregardless, they thought they had 300. Now they only have 210. That's the facts as we have them. But what would happen, let's walk over here. If instead we had put this $300,000 in the split IRA, okay? And in this example, we had chocolate pie and strawberry pie. What I did in this example, I divided it up originally we only put 30% in the stock market and 70% in what we refer to as a fixed indexed annuity. No risk whatsoever. So again, 70% in the annuity, and that's not gonna grow a lot. They're not meant to grow 40 and 50%. That's not what we're trying to do here. Remember, we're flipping the switch from investing to protecting. But we did leave 30% here in our Charles Schwab platform. Now, here's what's interesting. They chose what's called our moderate growth, which has about 60% in the stock market. So, but it's only 60% of the 30 because 70% is not in the stock market. So let's do the math real quick. So that means they had $100,000 in the Charles Schwab platform. You with me? 60% of that 100 or $60,000 was actually exposed to the stock market. The stock market went down 30%, so we take 30% off that. So their losses with our split IRA, 18,000 versus 90,000. Now, I don't know about you, that's not sleep insurance, folks. That's some sleepless nights. This is what we call sleep insurance. The idea is when you go to bed at night, instead of waking up and seeing the market go down 2,000 points or whatever it went back on March 9th, you look at it and you go, okay, yeah, I did lose some money, but the brunt of my money is totally protected. If this looks like something you're sitting there saying, why doesn't anybody share this kind of stuff with me? How come I'm out here playing a 100% game in the market here and something that I truly don't understand that has all this risk, then why don't we consider this called the split IRA concept? Let's put that up full screen again. Let me show you again how this works. The split IRA concept, what happens is you and I would sit down in person. When we sit down, I'm trying to understand, number one, how much risk you're willing to take, how close you are to retirement, or if you're already retired, what your current income needs are, how much you wanna leave when you die. All of these things go into planning your retirement. And somebody has to be well-trained in this. Folks, I've done this for 35 years. I know this world really, really well. And what I always start off with the premise is, why do we need to take all this risk if we don't have to? The reason you think you've got to take all this risk is you do not have a written 
game plan. That is something we provide all of our prospective clients at no charge. So if you'd like to meet, get a second opinion, get a written game plan of your situation, and see how we divide up the pie to give you some better sleep at night, just log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Once there, you're going to click on that Let's Get Started button. That information is confidentially sent to our office. You will be contacted. You and I will either talk by phone or meet in person. Again, that's TonyWalkerFinancial.com.